Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Monica and for today's video, wala muna tayong makeup transformation. Wala muna tayong unboxing. So, I'm just going to sit here and do some serious talking. Pero hindi naman ganun ka-serious. So, chill ka lang. Um, I'm dedicating this video to the engineers of Batch 2020. So, congratulations! Dahil natapos mo na ang course mo. I know na pinaghirapan mo yan. And despite what's been happening this year, you still managed to get that diploma for yourself. So, congrats! The reason why I chose this content for today is that um, lately, news broke that PRC is suspending the board examinations for professions catered by their agency. So, lahat ng board exam, including uh, CPA, mga lawyers, and especially engineering professions, um, they are moving to 2021. So, basically, for engineering I don't know for other professions, pero for engineering, walang naganap no board exam this year. Which I think is actually good. So it's it's the best decision PRC has made. Kasi, syempre, alam nyo na, um, health and safety muna. So yun naman yung priority this year. And that is why I'm making this vlog right now. Because, diba, according to Catriona, see the silver lining in all situations. The silver lining here is that you actually have all the time in the world for review. And mind you, one month before my board exam, I wanted it all to go back mga June or July. So, October yung board exam ko, and by September, I was wishing I had more time. So, for you to actually have a lot of time, is actually a good opportunity to have your strategy planned out, and for you to be ready when that day has finally come. For this video, I'm going to talk about my experience during the board exam, during my review, and I'll be dropping five tips on how I passed the EC and ECT 2019 board exams. So without further ado, let's get started. So, ayan, um, bubuksan ko lang yung aking phone dahil I wrote down the 5 tips here. Okay. Nabuksan na siya. So, tip number 1 is actually to remind yourself of your goal every day. So, very critical yan when you are reviewing. Kailangan paggising mo Hindi lang yung jowa mo yung inaalala mo or yung away mo or yung kasalanan niya sa iyo ganun. Pero hindi ako ganun nun. Wala akong jowa ng board exam. Wala din ngayon. Anyway, so kailan pagising mo, alam mo yung purpose mo. Ah, gumising ako ngayon kasi tatapusin ko yung Lesson 3 sa librong ito or yung chapter 4 sa librong ito. Mga ganun. So, kailangan pagising mo, alam mo kung ilang araw na lang bago yung board exam. So, mga ganun. Never be swayed from your goal. So, naalala ko nun to remind me na hindi ko dapat tinitake for granted yung mga araw na nagpa-pass by. Nag-print ako ng ng text tapos yung nahalagay doon. Mag-aral ka. 
hindi ka pa engineer. Ayun, ganun ka harsh yung reminder ko sa sarili ko. Kasi wala eh, kailangan kailangan na, na isasampal sa yung fact na para hindi pa pala ako lisensyado. Although, yung mga instructors ko noon sa review center, they were always telling us na engineer ka na. So, yung lisensya mo parang bonus na lang yun, di ba? Um, they are so mabait. Super motivating. So, if you're wondering kung saan ako nag-review, nag-review ako sa Excel Review Center. So, ayan. Um... Yun, sobrang nakatulong din yung pag-attend ko sa review center na yun. Kasi kahit hindi ko naiintindihan yung mga lesson, ang mas tumatatak sa akin yung mga soft skills, yung mga motivational speeches nila. So, kahit hindi ko naiintindihan sa classroom yung mga lesson, inaaral ko pa rin sila sa bahay. Kasi dun pa lang sa classroom, nabigyan ako ng motivation na hindi pa enough yung pag sa classroom. So, I know na medyo different yung scenario ngayon and we're all just staying at home. So, I heard um, meron ring mga review center na nag-offer ng online class. So, if you opted to um, to attend classes from them, so, that's good. Pero kung hindi, then marami rin resources online. So, Nasa sayo na yun. But what I'm saying is that huwag mong kalimutan yung reason kung bakit andyan ka ngayon. Kung bakit naharating ka sa karalanin mo ngayon at sa kung saan mo pa gustong maharating. So, that's it for tip number one. Tip number two is to find out what studying routine works best for you. Ikaw lang ang nakakaalam niyan. So, meron tayong iba-ibang preference. So, kada tao, iba-iba rin yung um, gustong studying schedule sa araw-araw. So, ako noon, hindi ako nag-aaral ng umaga. So, madalang lang. Mga 6 to 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock, hindi mo ako makikitang nagbabasa or nagsasagot ng mga exercises na galing sa review center or galing online. Um, I actually like to study during night time tsaka kapag madaling araw. So, meron na rin naman akong mga kasama na ayaw nagsa-study ng madaling araw kasi kapag puyat sila, hindi nila masyadong naiintindihan. So, right now, meron marami kang time para mag- experiment. So, ano haya? Try mo yung pwede kong magsagot ng exercise. Tapos, um, iniiba-iba mo yung schedule mo sa pag-aaral. So, pwede rin naman yun para nakabase ka sa, out, sa outcome nung exam mo. But, yeah, find out what study routine works best for you. Tip Number three is to so actually inject or incorporate studying into your lifestyle. So, hindi siya parang chore, hindi siya parang hugasen na you think you're compelled to do because you have to do it. Kung ganun yung tingin mo, parang you're not going to enjoy it and the fact na you're not enjoying it is saying na, andito yung pusa ko, wait lang, na hindi mo siya gusto. So, it, it should be something na gusto mo din. So, something na kung saan andun yung passion mo. Kasi, um, mind you, you studying na yun for your review is actually going to um, change your life. It's going to result into your license. It's going to change your responsibilities as a citizen. Yung pagkatao mo magbabago. So, yung mga tipo ng bagay na ganun, um, 
yung board exam hindi lang naman yun nagdedetermine kung isahang magiging license sa engineer or hindi. It's actually deter going to determine kung paano mo na discipline yung sarili mo para maipasa yung board exam. So, it's not more than just numbers. It's also going to show your effort to something na you really wanted for yourself. So, yun. Um, inject it into your lifestyle. So, kahit yung mga nakakasalumuha mong tao, conversations every day, the review should be a part of it. So, maganda rin na, ayun, parte siya ng buhay mo. Kasi, isipin mo na lang, minsan ka lang magtitake ng board exam. So, meron nang ayaw umalis. Let's go to tip number four. So, tip number four is to actually spend more time in studying than in worrying. So, alam nating lahat na we all worry kasi exam nga din naman yun. So, hindi 100% na papasa ka. So, medyo harsh yun. But, yeah, that's a fact. And when you worry, it's, it's supposed to make you not break you. May mga kakilala ko na sobrang na-pressure, sobrang natarenta, sobrang nag-worry, and you know, parang nag-give up na lang sila dahil sa sobrang pressure. So, dapat lahat ng input, lahat ng feelings, lahat ng lahat ng makukuha mo is to actually make you closer to your license and not uh, discourage you from getting it. So, um, ayun. You have to study, 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 and study, and also pray. So, ako ang gawain ko noon kapag huminga na ako tapos nag-start nag-start na ako mag-isip ng kung ano-ano at hindi pa ako makatulog. Babangon at babangon ulit ako para pagurin yung sarili ko sa pag-aaral. So, that way, hindi na ako nag-worry na kapag aral pa ako at makakatulog pa ako dahil sa pagod. So, ganun yung mga ginawa ko when, when thoughts like, what if I fail? What if I don't make it? Thoughts like that come to my mind. Kailangan ko talaga parang I have to move. I have to study. Parang I have to distract myself from all those negative things para hindi ako ma-discourage. So, ayun. Study more, worry less, Pray more. So, tip number five is to actually surround yourself with people who believe in you. That's very important. So, your surrounding is also a very big factor on uh, what condition your mind will be during board exam. So, you need to surround yourself with people na Naniniwala na may papasa mo yung board exam na magiging license engineer ka. So, nangyari sa akin dati, I had someone who who was, ano, parang, sige, masaya ka na naman pag bumagsak ka, ganun. Who's always parang reminding me of my past failure. So, Mm, I made the decision na um, I wanted that person away from me. So, okay lang naman yun. It's okay to cut people off temporarily if you're going through a phase in your life. So, meron kang karapatan gawin yun for yourself. And that's okay. Um, meron ka namang choice eh kung sino yung mga makakasalamuha mo. So, Kailangan yung mga nakasalumha mo are the people who believe in you and who are not considering your failure 
as some kind of win. So, ayun yung mga tips ko for people who are going to take the board exams. Um, pray lang na pray, study lang na study, motivate yourself every day. You need to prepare yourself mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, lahat na ng li para sa board exam na to. It's actually the exam of your life as a future engineer. So, yun, um, Yung mindset mo, sana naka-align dun sa goal mo. Yung lifestyle mo, i-align mo din sa goal mo. And take care of yourself. Stay safe at home. That's the best thing to do right now. Ngayong, it seems like na naka-freeze yung lahat. So, take care of yourself. Hindi pa yan huli. Um, it may be delayed, but it will come to you soon. So, ayun. Um, thank you for watching. Sana nakatulong tong mga tips ko para motivate ka na mag-study. So, mula ngayon, I think you should be planning your strategy. Mahali mo, ba? Maging top na chair ka. So, isa rin yun sa mga naging mindset ko nung magtitake on ho ng board exam. Masyado ambisyosa, pero the bonus price or the consolation price is my license, di ba? Not bad. Nag-aim ako maging top notcher. Hindi yun nasunod, pero meron pa rin akong lisensya. So, di ba? Um, aim high! Lalo na ngayon, maraming marami kayong oras. So, i-outline nyo na lahat ng coverage ng in yung board exam, maraming websites dyan na nagsasite ng kung ano-ano bang mga topics yung lumalabas sa board exam. So, go to Google, search it, wag lang yung profile ng ex mo yung sinasearch mo lagi at ini-stock mo, wala kang mapapala doon. Okay, kung babalikan ka niyan, siguraduhin mong pag binalikan ka, engineer ka na. Charot! Anyway, um, ayun, so, um, the best time to start studying is actually right now, today. Stay safe lagi, and thank you for watching my video. I hope it really helped. Um, if you're taking an ECE board exam, contact me. Uh, hindi ko kasi alam kung mailalagay ko yung mga websites dito or yung mga Google links ko. You can send me a message if you want the review materials na ginamit ko. So, uh, para to sa mga EC and ECT uh, board exam takers. So, ayun! Goodbye na talaga! See you on my next video. Bye-bye!